everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. My name is Alex. I'm outside Stamford Bridge after a 1-1 draw against Nottingham Forest in the Premier League. Matt, bloody hell, two, two Captain Morgans. Hey, so basically, before the game, I hid two beers around the corner. I am Jose Mourinho. <laughs> That's what I do, mate. I've got to think ahead. I wanted a beer after the game and I wanted to be outside drinking it, so I wanted to fucking, so I hid two up. That is brilliant. Yeah. Well, no, I hid three up. I've drinking a couple of other ones and I've been in there. By the way, cheers. Having everyone who, everyone who had a hood or a fucking winter jacket on got an interview first. Anyone who didn't have one <laughs> fucking had to wait till last, you fucking knob. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, Matt. I'm sorry. Do, yeah. do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Uh, to be fair, this doesn't... It, last you, last you time I go last again. To be fair, you live in fucking Colchester, mate. So, uh, but I always try and say, if you live a bit closer, but you, you heard Charlie, mate. mate. Charlie wasn't having know, it. Know, he only lives around know. the corner. I know. I, I didn't really mind anyway. No, but so what I thought today's game, I thought we were quite good. I thought we were good. Yeah. What do I think of it? I just, sorry, before we start, where, where did you hide the beers? <laughs> well, I don't want to say because if anyone watches it, they'll <laughs> fucking go knock me at Nicky's fucking hiding spot. And this was a success the first time and I don't want to ruin it for next time. But So this is a regular thing now? This will be a regular thing. Champagne football back at the Chels. Oh, oh whiskey man. football back at the Chels. Yeah, man. Oh, sorry, what were you, talk you were talking about the game, mate? Uh, no, I thought we were good. Uh, but, uh, we should have definitely killed off in the first half. Definitely. We had the, so many opportunities. I know people would be like, oh, yeah, we should have definitely got the win. But look at the breaking down the low block teams from last year to this year. Last year, we were so far off. We wouldn't even have got the ball in the penalty box. Now, we were constantly challenged, especially in the first half, where we should have buried it. But we didn't. They came out. The best way to describe that game is like trying to open a fucking... Trying to, trying to open a can of beans with a fucking broken can opener. No matter how much we kept trying, it just was, the can was just fucking, it just weren't opening properly. It really, really weren't. Like, like and, and, the, and with the result and how we played, the best way to describe it, how we played, we got a J2O at the pub. Do you know what I mean? J2Os are nice. We like drinking a J2O, but it's not for the right environment. We need a beer when we're at the pub. You need a J2O when you're chilling. Do you know what I mean? And today we brought a J2O to the pub with us. That's a good analogy, to be fair. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's what it is. Like, 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 I thought we were unlucky. Let's talk about the serious stuff, man. Let's talk about the serious stuff. I know you don't want to talk about it, but Enzo Fernandez. He's the man. He's the man. Like, oh, what? Because he was a bit... No, he, he was all right. I'm just asking what your opinion is on uh, it. No. What did you, you think, think he did today? He was good, good in the first half. And, like... He just, yeah, it was just. I don't know. I think the middle. The mid, I think everyone sort of fell asleep. I don't really. I don't really know. Yeah. Like what happened? Like I don't think. Oh, he had a really bad game. He gave the ball away. It's like a boxing match. Do you know what I mean? What people are doing? They're seeing at the very end of the game and then judging that from the game instead from watching the whole entire thing. It's like because it's really and easy to have a good round and then get a couple of punches punches in at the end and then claim the round. Do you know what I mean? The same with Enzo. What he made a couple of mistakes. Fafana made a couple of mistakes, but he also had good recovery. The players are going to make mistakes. They're not fucking robots and not Will Smith ain't on the pitch of iRobot going on do you know what I mean like they, they're players they're human beings like mistakes will be made not every pass goes through like we could have we could have had three goals today but we didn't we had to deal with one yeah, like you know that's true they are human beings but they're also at the pinnacle of the sport yeah, so yeah, we've got they've got heavy expectations hey, hey, so the thing it was raining today <laughs> 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 I'm joking. Yeah, no, mate. I, I thought it was. I thought it was a good performance, and I just think it, it, there's a definite progression from how we were last year. For how, like, and and that's all I've wanted. And I think there's a lot of Chelsea fans being like, "Oh, we're so entitled. We want this. We want that." No, we don't. We want to see good football that we enjoyed. And anyone from a mutual perspective watching that game today probably fucking watched a very good game because it was very like, well, it was more us in their end. But when they came to counter attack, they were. They were good. Sanchez, fantastic save. He's such a good shot stopper. But Jesus Christ, the geezer couldn't pass me a fucking banknote if I was standing right next to him. Like, generally, he's, he's, he's passing. He's like, it's not even his long ball. His long balls are unreal. It's, that, it's the short pass, and it really lets his game down. Do you think it's mental? Do you I think it's got to be in his head? Or? I, I, I really don't know what it is, to be fair. I, but I, but what I do know is that they need like 
it, if just boot the fucking. If you don't feel sorry, Alex. If you don't feel confident, you get used to it after no, a while. No. If you don't feel confident, just boot the ball out. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, like the games were right sat next to day in the Matthew Arden Lower. I, I didn't get his name, but he's fucking quality, mate. He, all game, he's after he's Sanchez. <laughs> On your line, Sanchez. <laughs> Boot out! He just will not have it. Like, in my opinion, the last game we played at the bridge with Brent's Brighton, I was sitting right in behind him. He was bad in the match for me last game. He was probably he was directing San- Sanchez all game last uh, against Brighton. And today, yeah, he, he, like like I said, he's a really good shot stopper. And it's not like I'm writing Sanchez off. Like, I just think he needs to get better in the passing because when you have the big games, you can't be making passes like that because I do not want to be seeing like last year against Arsenal. We had that in the win and then we gave him the game. I don't want to give games like that. Maybe with, with Sanchez, it's almost like Aaron Ramsdale at Arsenal, where it's like... He's a decent keeper, but he can do better. No, I think Aaron Ramsdale's better than Ray. I think Ray's a fucking absolute dosser, mate. I think I think he's just got so much hype behind him because he's with Arsenal. If he was at any other team, I think anyone would look at him like he's average as fuck. Bare mistakes. He's got the he's got like one of the best defence in the Premier League defending him in the front. That's that's what's saving him. I mean, he's making saves as well, no? Yeah, fuck it. I I don't rate him. I don't rate. Him. Trust me. Take Sanchez over Raya. Um. Well, it depends. Because we play from the back, don't we? And Raya can pass from the back. That's the problem. Come on, Chelsea. Come on. You know. Go on. What about? Oh, Man, got a little round of applause. Fair play to the fella. Yeah. Well, what about up front? Because uh, we had Jackson in there today, but and Cuckoo. Jackson, Jackson's good, but this was the game for Nkuku. Same with Bournemouth. It's very tight. There, there, there was not one point in that game they didn't have a liver man beyond that ball. It, like throughout the whole entire game, think like you, sh- you see them fans afterwards. Think my filler. You s- you see them fans afterwards. They were fucking absolute buzzing. It's the same with Crystal Palace. You get a draw at Chelsea. You get the draw at the Bridge. It's a fucking really good result for you. And that just shows how well we are doing at the moment. Because if it was last year, that wouldn't have been. You wouldn't. You don't get reactions from teams like that over a draw unless it's a fucking. You know you're going to lose, and you don't lose. Well, last season, or well, maybe even the season before, teams expected to beat us, yeah, no, and now it's, it's it's definitely the opposite way around. Yeah, no, 100. percent And and I'm very happy with the way the team's going, and that's all I want. Like I want to come here, I want to watch good football, like, and if I don't watch good football, I at least want to watch us win. Do you know what I mean? And today we got good football, we got. A bit of an unlucky performance, a bit of because they're oh my god, mate, their goalkeeper, what a fucking nonce, mate. Jesus Christ, you've never seen time wasting like it. Absolute helmet, mate. The whole entire team. Jackson, give an old mate a slap as well. I haven't seen it. Oh, Jackson, you fucking hero. Sorry, Nick Jackson. You are for real. He will slap your man at the back. He is lethal when in attack. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, but from what I hear, it's like, uh, well, he just slapped someone in the face in the middle of it. It's the same with anything. If someone comes, comes pressing in your face, Jackson's got that dog in him. Same with Enzo. Enzo's got that dog in him, mate. They don't take shit. You see Enzo at the half time, the guy on him, pushing him straight away. Enzo don't take shit. Jackson does not take shit. Levi Colwell does not take shit. Fucking hell, sign them up for the fucking headhunters, mate, because they're fucking absolutely fucking... Uh, you, they, they were more Larry than the fucking Chelsea fans at the far after the, at the Ghent game. Oh, mate. Do you know I can't I mean? believe. Do you know when when they were shining the lights at the Ghent game? Yeah, they were doing it because someone passed away, mate, and it was out of respect. Oh man! Hey, where's respect for Bobby Tamblin? Yeah, fuck off! I don't give a fuck, mate. Hey, no, you know, I, no, no, I, I would have respected that fully until they done what they done. Then they can they can fuck off, mate. I don't care. They're just a pit stop. They're just a pit stop from Germany, mate. That's true. That's true. I mean. Or in our case, a pit stop to Poland. Warsaw, here we come, I hope. But, you know, we've got to get to, to the Champions League, really. That's the priority. And that involves top four consistent performances. Yeah, and, and uh, today was a consistent performance. We're like, we proved that we're not shit. 
they scored a set piece. Did you not see the size of their players compared to ours? Massive. Yeah, it was like boys versus boys versus men. You know, were, that's why we brought Tossin on in the end uh, for Colwell. Nah, uh, just get a bit of height in there. No, I think because Colwell's a hot, 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 hot headed kind. I didn't want to sure if he got yellow carded for their fucking kicking off. I wasn't sure if he'd be like, oh, I don't know, he's a bit angry at the moment. You know, them boys, you can't calm the boys down. You can tell them what to do on a football pitch, but you can't tell them to calm down because he won't. Because I, I reckon, I reckon um, Jackson would have slapped. Enzo Maresca as well for trying to get him right, <laughs> trying to get in the way. He was like, I don't care if you're behind your back. Did you see Enzo giving it to the fans? Uh, what Enzo Maresca? Um, no, no. So basically, I was too busy when, watching the game. when we were when we were one nil down, or I think maybe just after we scored People the equaliser, were they? No, 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 they weren't booing. No, he was giving it in a good way. Oh, he was giving it this, and we responded. So, yeah, That's so when Midwakey as well. Midwake, every time we was in them corners, when he had about 30 corners right at the end of the game. Like, and even before that, Midwake, he was constantly like, fucking get up there. And I was like, yes, go on. Yes, we love Coke. We love Ketty. We love Nani. Mad or Wacky. <laughs> <laughs> I've He's... never heard that chant. Have you not? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> You're not like that one. I mean, it's got a ring to it, hasn't it? Yeah. It's got a ring to it. Have you got any new ones? Nah, no, nah, I'm trying to come up with a Jaden Sancho one. Been Chelsea since. Uh, you, uh, 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 that sounds like Hudson Adoy. Yeah, no, nah, of course it is. It's fucking football songs. That's all they are, just remix of their other old tunes. Who don't play players you don't play anymore. Every time you try to come up with a new tune, they'll be like, nah, mate, that's fucking shit. Fucking delete that straight away. What about. No, I was going to go with the standing at the bar with Jane Sancho, but it doesn't really work. No, no, Tre- no, Trevor's no, gone no, now, isn't such, he? No, I'm really, just no, standing no. at the bar. That's such a dead one. With Trevor Chalabar. I mean, he's not left yet. No, but you have to like do the HMU2 one, though, if you're going to do it. I'm just sitting no, on the loo with Adrian the two. I'm standing, I'm standing in the loo in the with Adrian the two. That, that one makes sense as well, because he's a baghead. That was another one. Oh, mate, there was about a fucking hundred for that tune because it's like two words to rhyme together. You can fucking do anything. Well, listen, Matt. Ultimately, it was, it was two points dropped, but it, you don't seem too disheartened by it. It's, the only thing more annoying is the fact that it was something that Arsenal didn't hold on to, the, like that Southampton didn't hold on to their lead yesterday. I was so annoyed watching that game. I was just like, fuck me. Fucking Southampton couldn't hold on, hold on to a fucking baby, let alone hold on to a fucking lead. Like, so annoying. And then, of course, you'd shout get... Shout out to all the midwives in Southampton. Yeah, shout out to the midwives. Love ya. Uh, <laughs> and, um, yeah, no, it was just fucking annoying watching that game yesterday. And then having Havertz score, and then everyone being like, oh, Havertz is generational, while well, at the same time they're still looking for a new striker. <laughs> Makes no sense. It's like, is, is either the best player and this the player you want, or you want someone else? Like, and with them lot, they're so delusional, they just won't fucking admit it. Keys are shit, mate. <laughs> the keys are his shit. I don't care if you scored seven goals at seven game home games in a row. You're still shit, mate. And <laughs> you're still gonna be shit. And, and as soon as someone fucking, yeah, Nottingham Forest wankers have that, you bastards. 